Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Lakari. Last time. I don't know where to begin. I have no idea where to put the video at yet. But we found out Galena was murdered. We have two ideas what we can do. And I think the play is to go visit the hospital first. All the little things. I know you can shoot him will eventually will, but I don't want to do anything extra just yet. So, I said we'll eventually get to. It's not yet. Did you notice it yet? The streets in New Orleans were a mess. All busted up and undergoing maintenance. The city was built on a swamp, so the ground is soft. All it takes is some heavy rain to cave it all in. There were also a lot of places where large tree roots were pushing up parts of the asphalt and the sidewalk. Those bumps were dangerous even when we still had our car, remember? But this town is different. The streets are all paved so cleanly that we can skate along them without a care in the world. And there's hardly any trash or graffiti to be found anywhere. The Clarksons truly do control this place, for better or worse. It's a good example of how allowing certain people to rise to power can have a positive effect. All right, that's enough of that conversation. Yay, ten more for dollars that we could use. The Cotta Ebenezer. I can never say that word, and I don't ever want to learn. I usually don't like this. Hey, Agent York. Just so you know, dealing with Pastor Sanders is gonna be a big pain in the butt. A big How's pain it? in the butt? That's what I said. But I guess you have no choice but to obey your oracle, huh? I wonder what she means by that. I would never thought again a church being the place with white beds. I don't like hospitals. Why not? They soup folks up with medicine, cut them up. And then they try and act like they're your friends. No. Something ain't right about that, you know. It goes against the laws of nature. Plus, this is a church. So you got a pastor, a servant of God, actually playing God with his patients. I think you have a point there, Patty. These days, we can neither determine death nor reproduce without the help of modern medicine. Yeah, our world's become quite an unnatural one. No. Oh. Excuse me? This is Lucare. You need to watch where you're going, or someone might end up tripping you. Wait, is that Professor R? Zack, it's her. The stylish woman who watched Lee die. I've been waiting for you, lost lamb. Uh, hi there, Pastor. Would you mind letting go of me? I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. So pitiful. The Lord hungers! <sighs> Here we go again. Uh, what? Pitiful. Truly pitiful, my little lamb. Uh, no, neither Zack nor I... Oh, so... Pitiful. So pitiful, just pitiful. The Lord hungers. One can of spam, one can of red beans, and one can of spinach. You are to offer up the taboo trinity. Taboo? But don't you mean the holy trinity? Oh, how I pity you. Unlike us humans, the Lord never errs. Now, my pitiful agent, bring forth the taboo trinity at once. For it is the will of the Lord our God. See? I told you this was going to be a pain in the butt. But Zack and I need to go after that stylish woman. Too late now. We need to obey God's will. The Lord hungers. Come on, hurry it up. We need to go. Well, but... Zach, I don't know what to say. First an oracle, and now an order from God? 
Maybe this is the trial that will yield the ticket to the goddess. Either way, it looks like we have no choice but to gather the taboo trinity. I guess it just goes to show that small towns are always filled with the bizarre and unpredictable. Just like these games. What? What is... What is... <laughs> I have to go to three different places? To... Alright, you know what? I'm curious. Well, we need to go both these places, and we're all the way over here. I'm lazy. Let's go to the foyer. 250. That's it. I mean... Oh, what game was it that I just spammed fast travel? Was it Red Dead 2? I just fast travel like, everywhere possible. Red beans and rice? The air out there don't feel right today. You feel it too, honey? <laughs> oh, coming right up, honey. I'll put my heart and soul into it. Oh, yeah. Um. Alexis, could I have some red beans and rice? Oh, my Lord. Sorry, honey, but no can do. We only serve red beans and rice on Mondays. That's a meal you eat when you're busy, like folks usually are on Monday. It's been a tradition here in Louisiana for as long as I can remember. Wait, honey, don't tell me. You're the type who does your laundry every day? <laughs> oh. Tradition, Zach. This is it. The Deep South. Louisiana. We need to obey tradition here and come back on Monday. What? What? It's Wednesday. Not only is it already annoying to waste a day, but waste five of them? I don't... What? What was right here? But... I don't... I don't understand the logic there. Can we just go to the market? Wait, why don't they come here for? Oh. Wait. I have to go to his food truck. So, Mr. York. What do you think of my castle? Pretty cool, ain't it? I've been curious about it since the first time I saw it. You've got excellent taste, Melvin. <laughs> I dub it Lou Crawfish. I'll have you know, crawfish is pretty much its own food group in this town. Since this store carries all the bare necessities you'll need for daily life, I reckon it was an apt name. If it's sundries you're looking for, <laughs> there ain't much you won't find here. Well, I can actually sell. Which, like I said, basic stuff. I can tan. 
I can get rid of my B.O. I don't really need those. I feel like I never will. Other... Whoa. That was a lot of money, randomly. I don't want those. Mr. York. Spam, huh? You a part of me kind of guy? No, Melvin. I've simply gotten myself tangled up in a little mess. Oh, I get it, Mr. York. The Lord hungers! <laughs> yes, apparently the Lord is starving, and I'm a lamb with no sense of direction. Pretty pitiful, if you ask me. I have to wait till Monday? Where else do I need to go? Canned spinach. I forgot where the beer. Ah, okay. Why well, can't I just go get red beans and rice on like, to the store? Or that just makes too much sense that I don't have to waste five freaking days to do. Figure out how we're gonna get to Monday. Because I'm not seeing it. Do you carry any canned goods here? Canned goods? The vermin of the grocery store? Nay, I think not. Understood, Mirror. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Wait! Yes, I can see it. I can see the canned good thou seeketh. How intriguing. Well then, where is the canned good I seek? In a place where no man could ever peddle it. I see. In a place where it can't be bought from a person. Got it, Mirror. Twas but a trifle, for the Lord hungers, doth he not? <laughs> this is a meme. Zack, it's in a vending machine. Yeah. It appears that God wants us to go on a wild goose chase all around town. Wow, you're not gonna tell me which town exactly. Is there anything else we can buy here? Oh. There is. Oh, I still cannot buy any charms. Oh. Really? So I can't ever use that till I get. The Lord hungers. That's a meme. The town has memes, yo. So, 
Mission 31 does not even have a spot on it. Where is it? I'll be a top this far. So let's keep in mind, this is 15 minutes of the episode. It started at like 9.35. It's been 12 minutes in game time that I have played through it. Swamp Tours? No. I first thought I was gonna ramp it. I wonder, can you get enough speed to actually just flat out ramp it? Who sure can. Okay, Zach. It's time to put our skills to the test. Oh, cool. I was right. No. Uh, well, Zach, it seems as if we've reached an impasse. Mm. I'm afraid we won't be able to proceed any further like this. Vakari Tiger to DC Eagle. Is everything all right? Hello, Melvin. Sadly, my darling just gave out on me. Your darling? You mean... Yes, that's right. My beloved skateboard. <laughs> I know the chances are slim, but do you happen to know of any establishments in town that can repair skateboards? Oh, this is going to be the store tutorial for the skateboards. Please, I hope this doesn't defend you. Neither Zack nor I would ever dare to assume that a remote country town like this would have a skateboard shop in it. But perhaps you have at least one eccentric who likes to tinker with them in their spare time. I know just the person. What? Double bass player by night, trick master by day. Play. God blessed her with two talents, and her name is Emma Sanders. Okay. Emma? That's right. She's past the Sanders' adopted daughter. And was also Lise Clarkson's best friend. Of course. Emma really knows her stuff. She's got tools and a mountain of parts. So I'm sure she'll be able to help. I owe you one, Melvin. Because Zach, I never thought we'd find our very own skateboard mentor out here in the sticks. Let's head straight to Emma. What is it, Zach? Why didn't I just ask the sheriff to tow away the old cars? But isn't it obvious? I want to overcome this obstacle using my own strength. What? In fact, I want to soar over it. Was that a pun? So let me get this straight. I came all the way to get away from this crap to go here. Oh, it's not right there. Oh, and I can't... You know what? Next time we'll do a premonition too. We're gonna be skateboard gurus. I'm not happy. I'll see you then.